It's Tick Week on New Center Main at 6. Each evening we're bringing you the latest information on ticks, the diseases they carry, and how scientists are trying to protect us. Last night we told you how Mainers will be part of a clinical trial for one of two promising vaccines for Lyme disease. Tonight we're focusing on a preventative shot, which is different from a vaccine. And as New Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us, this shot could hit the market in less than three years. Lyme prep is like the flu shot. You get it before tick season begins and it protects you for one year. And you have a choice whether you want to get it or not at your local pharmacy. So all the media is there to sell it. The Lyme pre-exposure shot known as Lyme prep is being developed by Mass Biologics, the nonprofit vaccine maker overseen by UMass Chan Medical School. The shot delivers a single anti-Lyme antibody directly into a patient's bloodstream versus a vaccine that triggers the immune system to make antibodies to fight disease. That antibody circulating in the blood kills the Lyme-causing bacteria inside an attached deer tick. It's uh, neutralized while it's still in the tick before it gets transmitted to you. Dr. Mark Klempner is a professor of medicine and a former executive vice chancellor of Mass Biologics. He says phase one clinical trials involving 48 patients will wrap up in August. The trials are taking place in Lincoln, Nebraska, where little or no Lyme cases have been reported. That's key because researchers need to know the antibodies in patients are from the shot and not from previous exposure to the disease. So far, there have been no major adverse reactions. Even at the highest doses, the only significant side effect that we've observed so far is pain and sometimes irritation at the injection site. Dr. Klempner says phase two and three clinical trials are expected to start next spring in New England. Researchers will be looking to recruit participants who spend a lot of time outdoors. We want to find populations of people who uh, are at the highest risk of uh, getting Lyme disease. He says the data from the trials is key in determining the safety and effectiveness of the shot. If approved by the FDA, Lyme prep would be given annually before tick season begins, and like the flu shot, available at your local pharmacy. And then it would last through the whole time into the late fall and early winter. Um, that's when ticks are out there, that's when you encounter them. 20 years ago, John Cole was bitten by a tick, which led to a number of health problems. He owns Northwood's Tick Control, trading properties for ticks and teaching homeowners how to keep their families safe. He is encouraged to see a greater sense of urgency when it comes to giving patients more options to protect themselves against Lyme. Preventative shots and so forth are all tools that we can have in our toolbox that if somebody chooses to, could be helpful for them. Now, Dr. Klempner says if the FDA approves Lyme prep, it could be on the market as early as 2024. And like other shots, it will be affordable. Now, coming up on Tick Week tomorrow, we'll tell you why University of Maine researchers are tracking a new bacteria found in deer ticks. In Portland, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. For more resources and information about Lyme disease and ticks, just head over to our website or the New Center, Maine app.